Finland, the home to nine previous Formula One drivers, three world champions, and two of whom are still on the grid today. However, today we look at something very different because we're here to find out if motorsport is easy for Ents. Welcome to Husjarvi, Finland. Located about one hour north of Helsinki, we find ourselves today at the Levinto Karting Facility, a 12 corner, 604 meter track in which the Ents boys will battle it out over 14 laps to determine who's the best in a go kart. Qualifying was an open session, and it's already given us some indication as to who's closer to Mika Hakkinen, and which ones might be better off keeping it to Counter-Strike. Interestingly, it was Twister that took pole with an astonishing 37-7, 1.3 seconds up the road from Yampi in second, followed on the second row by Sergey and Sonny, and then Alu and Ariel, perhaps on a bit of an eco-round on the last row. And we will waste absolutely no time getting into it. Green flag flies in the background as we are ready for the standing start. And what a jump from Yampy, but Twista, he's fallen all the way down to third place on the run to turn one, Miss Yampy's just flying away at this point. Sonny takes over second place, whereas Alu's fallen down to sixth behind Ariel at this point, but side by side as they head up the straightaway toward turn four. Yampy's looking comfortable as Twista slots in, trying to find a line perhaps to get by Sonny and get back onto the pace we saw. Alu, he's going around sideways, and that's going to cost him position that he made up off the start. Ariel gets back into fifth. That distance, my goodness. Yampy's running from this one. Twista looking like he's already getting held up a little bit with, or rather by Sonny as we jump on board the number 10 cart. Sonny looking composed at this point, holding his nerve and his line, but the distance growing in front, and Twista, he's going to get frustrated by this, and Alu already down at the back, already frustrated, trying to make up ground as what he lost on the opening lap. Yampy, clear track in front, and it looks smooth sailing quite a nice day I have to say in Finland 23 degrees as they ride these 120 cc go-karts on Dunlop tires around and tires will start to come into around temperature about now in the second lap and things will start to speed up significantly Twista quite see over the steering wheel but you can certainly tell he's trying to find a line to get around Sonny he's looking each and every way as they start at the beginning of lap number three Again, 12 turns on this complex. You can see Kimi Raikkonen and second cousin sitting by at the start-finish line, making sure everything looks good. And so far for Yampi, you have to say it does, but ooh, a 38-6. Twist is now done the fastest lap. Still, though, he struggles to get by Sonny. I say that, and he gets forced wide as Twister gets a bit of oversteer that opens the door, and he gets through. And now the chase is on. It's only lap three, remember, of 14. And although Yampy has gone faster, and I have to say is looking very composed, the pace was there should Twista regain his qualifying form. One of the things about driving a go-kart, especially a single speed one such as this, is staying smooth, not upsetting the cart, not losing any momentum. I say that, look in the background, Twista nearly loses it going on to the front straight. And that gets a head turn from Kimi Raikkonen's third cousin, who actually was the one who taught him to race a lawnmower, if you remember. Twista seems to have at least regained composure and resumes the chase for the lead. Even leaning his head into the corners, Yampi, you'd almost think he'd done this before. You might think Alu hasn't, as he looks about as enthusiastic as he does as an interview stuck in fifth place. Channeling his inner Kimi Raikkonen, but not so much the speed, rather the enthusiasm. We go back on board with Twista, and you can tell now he's really on it, using all the track as he heads back onto the front straight. Overseer into the curb, upsets the rear, and nearly caught the grass on the exit. That would have been catastrophic, because Yampy's pace is improving. And again, he's got that relaxed carding look, elbows down, bit lower hold on the steering wheel. It was a very different pose to driving a go-kart, and I mentioned the head leaning as well. There's ways that you can weight the axles and try and get the cart to rotate a little bit differently using your body weight, because body weight is a lot more significant on the footprint than in a real car. Ariel might not know much about either at this point. He's just hanging out back there doing his own thing. But we'll see if maybe he can be gifted some places if consistency matters or hey maybe he's just having fun because that's what it's all about. A little bit of fun getting sideways for Sergey and we mentioned Sonny. Well the strategy to get sideways may not have been the best call for the in-game leader because it gave up one position already but now he may even come under threat from Sergey as they head on to lap six. Meanwhile, we jump back with Twista. This really is the story. Man had pole, but it's very easy to overdrive in a go-kart. Certainly not a problem for Yampy. As we look at the gap, he heads back out of turn number nine, and Twista's still a little bit further. He's got a lot more overseer, I have to say. That cart perhaps not as balanced in the longer race session than it was earlier in the day. The tires could be getting away from him at this point as well. 23 degrees. 
I mentioned the battle right now for third place. Again, Sergey looks to close the gap. Sonny, we jump back on board. The action's all behind him, but he needs to keep his eyes forward. Forward they go. Turn number two, decent breaking points. And then a late apex to swing it in all the way around and get set up for turn three because that puts you on a decent straight away, not going straight or the right way. As Sonny gets spun around backwards, locks it up under braking, rear axle braking, very heavy bias, easy to do, and caught out is Sonny once more. He might need to figure out the direction he's going and sort himself out, because if you're going to lead the team, it might be a better idea to go the right way while doing it. Twista, meanwhile, again, the pace is there. You can certainly see in his aggression, but starting to calm it down a little bit more. Stab of the brakes to settle the cart between turns four and five. Also another tight and technical section, but the gap seems to be increasing at this point. We mentioned the fastest lap twist to getting there, but it certainly seems that consistency is the key. And a mixture of nicotine and gasoline, Kimi Raikkonen's fourth cousin agrees with that statement as he watches Twista head by, but the distance grows. Ariel, slowly but surely, is closing the gap back down to Alu, so a battle at the back to see who's really going to be able to improve throughout the course of the session. Alu is not. He's gone around. That opens the door, but he'll keep the cart running. Crucial to do so. I have to say, his career going about as backwards as Heike Kovalainen was after he left McLaren. As he sits in last place at this point in time. And if I'm not mistaken, he's actually not only last, but he's about to get lapped as Yampi's already up on his rear. Now, this could change things. Yampi coming into traffic, and he needs to be absolutely sure his teammates or rather competitors in this situation are aware and he's very cautious about it and that's actually wise at this point in time as we see another spin that's Ariel hang on because that's now in front of Yampi and Alu which could affect the leader even more oh Yampi's gonna let Alu know he's there I love it a little bit of bump and barge to get by pushes him offline and Alu makes no mistake of getting out of the way blue flags that's certainly what Sebastian Vettel would be yelling at this point in time meanwhile Sergey third place looking a bit lonely now that he's gotten by Sonny has the traffic, we need to get a better look at the gap. Oh, I was gonna say, has the traffic helped? I would say it has, because formerly, Twista was quite a bit further back in that last corner while coming around onto the start-finish line, and yep, he's been held up significantly. I'd say that cost him somewhere near two or three seconds, and next in line for him to get by is Ariel. Ariel, I think, did give a glance over his shoulders. So he should be slightly more aware that Yampy is coming through, but Twista knows he has to strike, and he's also gonna navigate the same problem and get by Alu. Needs to make sure he's absolutely smooth in doing so. He can't afford to lose the same time that Yampy did. And into the final hairpin. Oh, no. Twister spun it. Oh. Oh, you can hear it. He's not happy with that at all. Twister getting it stuck behind Alu. Alu's proving to be more toxic to his teammates on the go-kart track than he is in the server because that's two that he held up. And Twister, oh, he's out of the race. He's not going anywhere. This could be it. Yampy could have just won it on this. There's only two laps left at this point in time. And Twister's last chance has disappeared. Not only that... He saw an opportunity to give his teammates all the positions because they've moved up and it's Alu now in fifth as a result and Twister will hold on to sixth place at DNF but 90% of the race finished will still classify him. Careful Marshalls not to have a tacky Uno incident in Hungary because 1995 because they're struggling to get that car off the track. Safety first. Flags I would say waving but not really in that case. Either way, everyone keeping their composure as we head into the second last lap. And Kimi Raikkonen's fifth cousin is probably glad this one's almost over. Yampy, he could probably keep going at this rate all day. I have to say, Twista started on pole but can't convert. That's very similar to Valtteri Bottas' problem. So perhaps he picked the wrong finish influence coming into this race. As around they go once more. You can see how spread out they are and still they're struggling. You can see in the background all the way back to turn nine they were absolutely having problems moving that cart off the track. Alu, the man who was almost involved in the incident, certainly an influence in it but not caught up in it, was taking his sweet time to get around it. But it is the last lap. Lap 14. Sonny still on a podium position behind Sergey. And he's actually almost about to get lapped by Yampi as well. What a performance in Ariel showing off some acrobatics as he gets spun around more than a mermaid under the sea. 
And he loses, does he lose a position? No, he won't actually lose to Alu at this case, it doesn't appear. I think he's got enough of a gap based on Alu's problems with the lap traffic earlier. But nonetheless, the man who's absolutely dominated today, he showed off that he can be hacking in. And he's made it happening as he comes across the line. And it's, oh, Hanu with the flag. Look at the enthusiasm. I have to say that is the most enthusiastic finished person I have ever seen in my entire life. Dropped his cell phone to congratulate Yampy. And even Kimi Raikkonen's sixth cousin was quite pleased to see him cross the line. Race over. Yampy waving to all the fans in 2020 that are absolutely not at the track in social distancing. But what a win. I'm genuinely impressed. It is quite tricky to drive a go-kart at pace. You have to be so smooth and delicate not to upset the cart. And he was absolutely perfect in this seat. A 29 second gap. Remember, it's a 37 second lap. 29.1 second gap to second place. Meanwhile, Sonny comes home in third. Ariel one lap down in fourth. Alu in fifth. And Twista, perhaps not the best performance. Definitely looked like he was frustrated to try and catch up to the pack. But what a race. Not so easy for all events, but Yampy, the champion here at Levinto.